All righty. Welcome everyone to the Oh My Cabbages playthrough video. Uh, just to let you guys know, Rob made a uh, setup, a how to play video and the FAQ, which you can see in the playlist. So this one we're gonna be kind of showing a one-on-one -on -one game. Rob's gonna walk through like we've never played before. So someone that is teaching some of the rules can know how to introduce their friends to the game. And then we'll dive into the game and show you how we can play through. So Rob, would you like to start taking it away? I'm Mark, by the way. <laughs> yeah, and I'm Rob. Uh, the easiest thing to do first is like with any board game or basically anything you get, you wanna separate all the different pieces. So you wanna make sure that You've got your starter stands all separated, so that'll look exactly like the cabbage cart that you'll see in the show. So that's really cool. And then, of course, these are the main location cards that you'll so lay out here. You do want to set aside the starter stand and the location cards. So there you go. And most location cards are going to have this beige background unless they are cities. So... Obviously, they're Fire Nation City, Earth Nation City, Water Tribe. They're going to have backgrounds and stuff. So pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. And then you'll have your character cards that you'll separate. You'll have your merchant kind of meeple pieces here. These are your player tokens. And then you'll have the first player token. And of course, this is the cabbage token that you'll mark as your round tracker. So we'll play for 12 rounds. Typically, guys will play for 12 rounds, and then this is the track. question. This is the brown tracker. This mm -hmm. little cabbage. First player token, cabbage, cabbage man. man. Got cabbage die, and th there's a black die. We don't want to forget this one. This is one of us will play as Aang. This is the defense cube for Aang. Who gets to be Aang? Do you want to be Aang? I'll be Aang. Okay. I'll be the Avatar. There you go. Wow. Okay. Each of the cards has a special ability, so each vendor comes with a special ability, so I get uh, one extra stand. So where's that black cube? Here you go. So that's like, that's his extra armor. So like that cube just like allows him, when he's defending his stand, it's just, this is in there, the avatar defense cube, just to let you know that you're gonna have one extra armor when you're defending a stand. And then if we've got this cabbage merchant, I guess after losing a stand, receive three extra coins. So if he ever loses a stand, uh, which we'll get into um, when we explain some of the rules and stuff, that he'll just get extra coins. So that's pretty that's pretty fun there. Okay, well, um, I think what else do we have to do? I've separated all the coins too, so you want to make sure to do that. So when him and I de determine who's going to be first, then we'll go into that. So I guess we can just roll the die and then we'll see who goes first. I thought it's who, you know, ate the last cabbage. Who ate the last cabbage? We saw yeah. Avatar the last. I don't think I've eaten cabbages before. I can't even remember a time of eating a cabbage. You've never had stuffed cabbage before? No? Mm, not Maybe really. once. <laughs> <laughs> we ate a cabbage. I is, got one. Wait, is kimchi technically cabbage? Right. You eat that? No, you don't. Oh, you actually, ate it. I, I do eat that, yeah. <laughs> mm, all right. So okay. I rolled a three. Okay. So then I'm already losing. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. As usual. As so usual. I'll go first then, and then the first player will get three coins. So I'm going to get three coins. And then the way it goes is that the next player will always get kind of one more. So the second player gets four. Third player will get five. The fourth player will get six. It caps at six. So fifth and sixth players will also get six coins. So he's just got one coin. And then just to keep track, just for starting our businesses, we also get one coin as well. So I'll just... You always kind of do that right when you're about to start, but just want to make sure that we have the right amount. And then... And we, also just remember the coins are delineated by different numbers. So this is worth five coins. Where I can't see in this box. We got the one coin, which is blue. Yeah, that's the water And then we have the 10 coins here. Oh, I messed up. And then we have 25 coins. Yeah, the Fire Nation piece. And these are going to be the damage tokens that you're going to see. Okay, all right, so, so let's, let's deal out a starter. You know what, since uh, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a blue, a blue starter. So each uh, starter stand comes with a uh, different ability. So this one is play two coins and draw two messenger hawk cards, pick one. So these are all different based on the board. I would choose where I want my stand to be. Not that it really matters where it goes, but here you go, you can pick yours. Yeah, and agreed. Since we're just playing a two-player game, it's the same thing where 
Uh, normally, the first player will place their starter stand first, but as he's saying, there's no real advantage. It's just it's just a fun little thing where you'll pick one of these empty spaces where you'll put it. Um, let's see. How about I do the yellow one? And it, you, if you saw me sneakily, I gave him his employee cubes and his merchants, his merchant pieces. So I'll take mine as well, my orange ones matching my guy. So just think about these guys as the bosses, and these guys are one hiring the employees to run the sand and do the dirty work and make the money and replace the cabinets, talk to all the, the customers. Exactly. Yeah, the interns to the to the head honchos. All right, and then when we want to deal out, after we deal that out, you know how many uh, stands there are, then you would just put face down the location cards, and you would not cover up the top row because those are always going to be, uh, you could always visit those at any time. And as we play, we will explore the locations. And also in like one of the, the variants you can play if you want, you can like expand this board and like play some other locations around if you wanted to. Um, if exactly. you wanted like a longer game, you could do that, but it is not required. So we are now done with these locations. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's see if there's anything else for the beginning. Yeah, these, this is the cabbage stand defense, so we're each gonna get three of these. So Mark will draw three as well. Wow. So this is for combat. So these are your kind wow, of vendor should cards. I show it? Wow. <laughs> You're gonna wanna definitely show me your hand, please. Right wow. here. I don't wanna show you my hand. Oh wait, and then of course <laughs> I get the, the first player token as well. I think that that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, one thing too to remember is that for the first six rounds, we're gonna just be using one merchant, but we'll get to use two of them yes. for the last six, uh, six rounds from seven to 12. So just keep that little guy next to you. And you don't get any free employees to start the game, unfortunately, so they'll just kind of stick around here until we hire them. So then I guess then that will be just my... Oh, I guess before we start, so you guys know, mm -hmm. Rob and I designed uh, the game. Um, so if you guys have any questions, you can just reach out in the, the comments or shoot us an email um, and we'll answer any questions if we can add anything to the FAQ. So thank you guys. If you're watching this, you might be playing the game. You might be thinking about buying the game. Yeah, we'll stick it's everything fun. in the description, yeah. all the socials, anywhere you want to ask us questions. Yes. Yeah. So. And you should, okay, and also there is the rule book and the quick start guide. So uh, kind of the, the rule book has walks you through it essentially the whole game and there's some variants that we played and there's also going to be an oh my cabbages expansion it's also a standalone game that's there that's just a, a deck of cards um and we also have the cute little plushies the stuffed animals we have the otter penguin uh we're gonna be making the avatar penguin sledding game we have momo over here we have 15 inch Oppa, and we have 30 inch Oppa. Which looks even, it looks even bigger than that, to be honest, that Oppa. Holy yeah. It's big, it's huge. Okay. So, and then the quick start guide. If you want to kind of just run and start playing the game, we pretty much set you up right now to, to just hit the ground running. So I think that shouldn't be a problem. Right. And again, like this is kind of how your typical board is going to look like, give or take a few starter stands. You're just going to have as Mark said, all these cards face down, and then you'll have these available. And like as Mark said, these will be kind of constant. You can always go to these spaces as you're playing the game. So I think that's it for setup. I'm, I'm gonna pause the video and then just restart it. So. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Okay. Okay, that was a quick pause. We did it. Okay. All righty, so let's get Let's get rolling. It's time to explore the four nations. So I'll show people kind of the, when you're going to a face down location, what you're gonna be doing. So, so I found exploring. Whale Tail Island. I get one coin for exploring. Sweet. So every time you explore a new location, you get a coin. But if you go to like one of the same locations, you are not getting a coin. And I'll switch out my money here. And I'd love to do something right now, but for my first turn, I just discovered this and got a free coin, but there's nothing really I can do. I need three hired employees to do that. So hired, available employees, just essentially three employees that I keep track of on my card, but I can't do that right now. But 
as you get more money and as you get more employees, you'll be able to do more of that stuff. So now it'll be your turn. So yeah, when we were designing the game, we, we really did want it to be very replayable. So there's so many different strategies that you can take. You, you can pretty much start exploring the entire board right away, or you can kind of be playing this slower game and just like going to take a card uh, from the Messenger Hawk deck and uh, you can go that, that route because after the, the first six rounds and everything kind of starts pick up, uh, picking up speed. So, okay, I'm gonna explore. I'm, I'm in the mood to, to go on a little adventure. So where's my coin? There you go. Oh, cheaper bear. Cheaper bear. So we have the, where's the coin? I can't see, is this it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, let me um, closer. So this is actually a great example. So you won't always get the higher the security bear. So I'm gonna show this. This now is only four coins, but on the board it's seven, so now you have a cheaper way to hire a security bear. Down the line. Go and destroy. Yeah, if he wants to go kiss. destroy, <laughs> have me scream. Okay, so that is the end of the round, and then we're going to be just taking one coin each because of our starter stand. So Mark and I both get a coin. So we're still making some income even if not a lot has happened in the beginning, and remember, we'll move this to the second round. And you can choose if you want to have a banker or everyone is responsible for getting their own coin. Yeah, exactly. All right, so then for me, and we'll remember these will all these will all go to the middle. Then for my next turn, I'll show people how this works. I'll go take a messenger hawk uh, card for free. And as Mark was saying about the design, this is a a bird. This is bird, uh, bird hockey from from the show that's Sokka's bird. And then we'll play this instantly. For the rest of the game, employee spaces give one extra employee. So that is for everybody. So now whenever we get an employee, like so for example, we went here to hire one, we'd all get an extra. So that's pretty good. Now they're not always positive. There are negative effects in there, but that's kind of like pressing your luck to see what you can do. I think I'm just gonna continue exploring for right now. Yeah, just reveal more of that board. Oh, the Western Air Temple. Okay. I think that, is that West? I don't know. <laughs> it's not compass, so I'm just like, what? It better be. <laughs> it was approved. <laughs> <laughs> and now we all get a coin, and again, we go back to the middle. Two player games, if you're playing those, they're gonna move really fast in the beginning because people, we won't be taking too long to decide what we want to do. Yeah, so th this is sometimes, you know, when you play any game, you play with four or five people, six people, it can be like, let's go, hurry up, I know what I want to do next. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we've had those moments, especially internally for sure. Yeah. Uh, okay, if I go here, I'm gonna hire one employee, which will give me two. So I'll spend, I'll take this five and just take two coins back and then I get two cubes, which again, like here are my employees. Now I have them right here to remind me that I'm going to be using those employees too. So again, the reason mm -hmm. stand. Rob is getting two employees this time. Normally he'd only get one, but for this, for the rest of the game, employee spaces give one extra employee. So that's the only reason why. Otherwise it would only be one. And I think there's like 50 of these cards. So again, your, your games are going to be very different depending on how many of these Messenger Hawk event cards you'll, yes. you'll draw. I believe it's actually more than might be 50 or 60. Nope, it's 54. Yeah. It is. Okay. Um, da, 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 da. What do I want to do? I'm not tired of you going first yet. I'm getting there, but not yet. Um, yeah, for a two-player game, I don't know. Going first, there is an advantage, depending on if there's protection there if I go for something. He's just he's trying to yeah, he's like, there's I'm no lulling him into a false sense yeah. of security. And then he's going to tell you at the end, he's like, Ba ah. Sing Se. Okay. And you'll notice that each of, uh, I guess let's just talk about what each place means. You want to explain to each one? Yeah, so We have the, the worker. Right. So on the left is the worker cost. That's going to cost about three, right? Yeah. To so build. Three, so if you get three, you employees. three employees to build this mm -hmm. and be able to collect each round. Exactly. So at the end of each round, if you still have your stand and doesn't get destroyed, you're going to collect on the right the two, two coins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then here you have your defense. So yeah. if a bear is coming, 
Uh, you have that two defense plus the, the role that we'll talk about mm -hmm. will eventually attack each other. Yeah, exactly. So you, you'll have your armor value and then that little green bag, unfortunately that's a zero, so yeah. the Western Air Temple is not very valuable, but that will be loot. So normally you'll be able to loot a stand and I think uh, if you've seen the video or if you've uh, read some of the rule book, it's one cool thing about looting a stand is that you'll be taking away income they, the player would normally get. But again, selecting which stand you want um, will just depend on all of these factors. Everything is going to be different. Yeah, this so one's a good one because different. you can't really loot it. It's going to be zero. So there's no point to loot that stand. There could be a point. <laughs> you, don't yeah. know. you don't know. If you're just rebelling. Yeah. Just, just want to make your life miserable. Okay. So we've both gone. And then yep. we're Fourth on three. Round. So now we go to four. We'll each take another coin. Yep. getting more to a point where we have more things we can do. Like, hurry up, let's go. You should have already planned your next move. See? I do yeah, want to explore, trying. though. I want to explore. The Northern Water Tribe Palace. I know what strategy is just trying to to get some money to build some places. I know. I know what you're doing. And I don't like it. So, you know what? I want to take the first turn marker. I don't, I don't, I don't trust you. So you're paying, he's paying the market? Yeah. And then, just like, like Mark was saying, that this is our market, where the bank, that's where the money goes back, or the vendor cards that we'll be able to take. And now he's going to be able to go first. Now we're on round five, and we each get a coin once more. Here you go. Thank you. Okay. I think one round I didn't get a coin, but you know what? I'm going to let you have it. I think you did, right? right. Yeah, I, I think I think I'll change the camera. I forgot. He's got a, <laughs> maybe. I, we have to go back. We have to go back to the, the footage. Um, I'm going to continue exploring. Right, what do we got here? Another one of the Fire Nation cities. Okay. So make sure you get your coin yeah, exploring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. And then for me, again, I can show you guys a couple of different things. So we go here, you have two choices. You can actually take a defense card for free. You can hold up to five, or I can pay three to do a die roll to see if I get something out of it. Now I'm gonna pay three here and I'm gonna see what my roll is. Where's the die? Oh, right here. Yeah. So I'll roll this. Oh, here we go. Oh this my is... god. There, there we it go. is. Alright, so. Rachel was telling us not to play on the indoor outdoor <laughs> table. <laughs> she did tell us not to play here. She's one of our other partners. She did uh, the, the design, the, the graphic design, and the, the box art. So for three, I'm pretty sure for three you get uh, three coins, but I'll read off the, the other things that you get for spending the three coins there. So, yeah, you get the value of coins if you roll two, three, four, or five. So I basically just broke even. But if you roll a six, you actually get to hire an employee uh, for free. So you get that extra employee. And then- When does you lose them? Uh, yeah, if you roll right? a one, you lose an employee. Yeah, so, so don't roll a one. Exactly. Um, so I just get three back. Speaking of money though, uh, one thing that we did, I don't think we mentioned is you have the, the coins here, but the reason they are not double-sided is if you want to be playing a game that is the coins are face down and you don't want anyone to know how much money you have, that is uh, one way because you may just be, you may have a 20 in here, but nobody knows or a 10. And that's kind of your way, especially when there's four players, it's a good way to like keep privacy and strategically uh, so no one really knows uh, what you have. So yeah. yeah, you gotta try to keep track of what everybody's making for sure. So that was my turn. Um, okay. Now it'll be yours. So no, 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 next round. Oh, I thought you, oh yeah, you, you took the yeah. first player. Yeah. You All right, lose. so six. You lose. You lose. So now make sure you get your coin for yeah. end of the round. Yeah, yeah, starter yeah, stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking what to do. Um, thinking Sweet. one thing too, and this doesn't happen in two player games a lot, but um, if Mark, for example, was here, I can't also put my space here. There are exceptions to that. And that usually involves, that involves like looting. If I go to like his city, he's in his city and I want to loot a stand, I can put my uh, space there. 
my uh, my piece there or if he's at his like starter stand i can challenge his him to a duel we just both have to have vendors and remember your starter stand is what's safe this is like your bank yes so you don't need to worry about that i know this was one question that popped up this Mer is this yeah. is your bank. It's like a Swiss bank. No one's getting to it. You can go to it. You can put um, up to five coins per per um, per round in there. So if you put five coins in there, that's just going to be your bank. It's going to be held there. No one, one will, uh, no one will be able to take it. Okay. I'm going to hire an employee, which is three, which means I'm going to get two of this. All right. Alright, it's on the book. Okay. I will do... So you hired an employee. Let's explore one more time. Here's your coin. So we got another. Okay. I'm gonna keep you honest. <laughs> and then... The Northern Water Tribe, okay. Yeah, so that goes back here. Alright. And now, I think we just get a coin for the end of the round again. Mm -hmm. So what's changing? We're in the next, the next phase of the game. So the next phase of the game, exactly. Well, no, it's moved to the next stage. The next stage. So with the next phase, um, we will be right here, right? Start at round seven. So before you explain that, let me pause. And we're back after five seconds. Okay, so pretty simple now. Now that second piece comes into play. So I have my second orange guy, my second merchant, and his second blue guy. So we're gonna be able to now take two actions per round. So the game is gonna move a little bit quicker. We'll be able to do more things rather than just like kind of take one out of here. We've been kind of revealing the board a little bit slower to see what other options we have, what other stands we can do. And uh, the turn order is also going to be changed a bit. So Mark has the first player token, then it's me, then I go again, and then Mark is last. So it's kind of like a snake draft. So if there's three or four players, you'll just kind of go one, two, three, three again, then two, and then one. Uh, again, we have videos kind of explaining that. And if, and if you read the rules, you'll kind of understand. If you've played like fantasy football or something before, it's just a snake. So let's just do an example so people see what you're talking about. So just let's walk, you walk through just how that would work. Yeah. Because I know that was one part that was a bit confusing for some people. Right. So the way that, that Mark could do it, for example, is Mark could go here, he could hire a bender. Then it's my turn. And then maybe I want the first turn marker. So I take that from him. And then let's say I go here and I take another card for free. So my turns are uh, sequential. Now Mark places his last one. So now it, no, it can't take yeah, it back. Yeah, can't take, he can't take it back. <laughs> And then I could uh, just explore another location. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's pretty much. Again, like you'll you'll get the hang of it. Um, and then at the end of the round, you're gonna get uh, two coins instead of one. Yeah. And you can see that on your starter stand. So your yes. starter stand says plus one or plus two. Um, that first six rounds, mm -hmm. last six rounds. All right. Let's get rolling. Playing this this game very conservatively right now. It's very funny. Yeah. Last time we, we played the last time we played, we were like all fighting with, with benders and just like it, it is a different experience. It's funny, it's a different experience when you're playing with four people. Um because like people could gang up on people. <laughs> with with three or four players or even, yeah. even six, it's chaos. It's all about like the negotiation. And you can even subtly do it throughout the game. Yeah, you're you're right, that's so true. Yeah, so I guess that that's one thing that's gonna be missing. That's how we like to play. We yeah, like to not play every negotiation. Yeah. If you guys want to play a little bit more um Free know, for all, right? We're free for all, everybody doesn't team up and that's yeah, we, good. We were teaming we were up. teaming up. I think we teamed up on you, right? You and Rachel. You and Rachel. Yeah. Did. And me and um, me and Nikki did a little bit. Uh, up. I don't remember who won. Oh, right. Didn't Rachel, Rachel did. Disgusting. She had like mm -hmm. she had like double the amount of uh, coins. Yeah, I don't know how she had so much money. Yeah. Cash money. All right. Uh, so it's my go. I'm going to explore. Can I have my my coins? Let's see what this one does. All right. So. So draw and explore one location token outside of the playmat. 
So that means now. And then you just have to spend one coin. Yeah, right? so if I were to spend one coin, which I you can got get. one for revealing, for exploring, so you can just yeah. use that one. But I don't want to. See, he's trying to make me spend my money. I don't want to. I want my coin. So. And then, then you spend it. Then it'll just go here. So anytime someone wants to go in there, they can go uh, reveal a new location. Yeah. So we can have a few set up. Just why not? And explore one out the play mat. So I think that that means that you do it, you look at it immediately, right? You explore one of them, I think. No, so this was one where we visit it and go back and spend one. Oh, yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, so then, and that's like what Mark is saying, like you can go to any of these things and you don't have to like yeah, you make don't have to spend it. Yeah, exactly. you can use things immediately, but you don't have to. Exactly. Um, all right, so. I'll do the same thing here. I'll spend, I'll get two employees. Yeah, I know you're up to something. You're up to no good. And then I'll get to go one more time. Yeah, so I'll go to Whale Tail Island and I'll build my first cabbage stand. So I'll use three employee cubes. They go directly on there so now you guys can see that. And then at the end of the round, and just so everyone can see kind of what the income looks like. Sometimes, especially for families, right? Like if like parents want to like show their kids like how much money their stand will make, this helps too. So if you're taking slower turns, and I know we're, we're going faster if like a family's watching this, you'll, you'll just be able to like put the coins there and then that tells you, you know, that'll tell like everybody that that's kind of what the income is I'm going to be collecting. Yeah, at the end of the round. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, so this was one of the things that we were talking about before is um, this wasn't specified in the rule book. Um, so the way it was su supposed to be is that every location you can only be on one place, but that's why Rob was talking about exceptions to the rules. Um, is that if we were allowed to, if there's four people and everyone wants to hire an employee that round, we're still saying you shouldn't be able to do that because that's that's kind of the whole point of the strategy of saying, oh, if I want to go get that first uh, turn tracker, then I can get that and then I can get the employee next round. So that's the way we're, we're playing, the way it was intended. Um, but there are other location tiles if you play the game that there will be things where you can hire another employee or three employees mm -hmm. um, on some of them. So that's just to, to kind of clear that up because I know that was a, a question. Just like the bear. Yeah, just like the bear. Just like the bear. So because I really don't like you, like really don't like you, I, I'm, I'm going to hire a security bear. So speaking of the bear. <laughs> speaking of the bear. <laughs> All right. So let's do this bear. Okay. So through it. you're going to get this right here. You'll have that die. And then um, just to recap, he's going to be rolling the die. So that die will like go um, whatever value he gets that will go against my defense. And then the way I will use my defense kind of boost it a little bit is I'm going to use two of my employees and they're going to add to my defense and that'll be a five. He's got a five. So he has to either tie or beat that value. Um, otherwise, if he doesn't beat that value, if it's lower, like let's say he rolls a four, then I'll just put damage, like broken damage counters on him. That's right. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Yep. Things are a bit different. If I had a bender, I'd roll the die before him. Kind yep. of like a Dungeon and Dragons check, I'd be able to like negate something that he would do. But since I don't have that defense, I can't do you it. You should have hired a bender. Right, I should have hired a bender. You should have hired a bender. That's the lesson. You're not spending your money wisely. Okay. I need a financial advisor. All right. That was a really bad... That's a bad roll. What, what a waste of money. Okay. <laughs> so even if you guys are laughing at Mark at home... <laughs> I have two damage counters on here, but the employees that I use, actually, they do get discarded. So this this does promote offense in the game. So I always have one employee manning the stand. Always got to have one person in the cabbage stand. One person in the cabbage stand. Yes. <laughs> you have one person in the cabbage stand. And then this is kind of a minus two, so or a plus two for Mark. It's minus two for me. 
So if he did send another bear at me, he's he's chipping away. So it's not not like all for nothing. I'm trying to like make it feel better. It's not working. <laughs> all right, let's let's get one end of the rounds. So see like pretty much how that round is a lot longer. Uh, at least it even felt longer for me because there's a lot more to do as you start seeing you have more money there's more things to do there's more actions um double amount of actions so yeah it's kind of like we didn't refer to it as phases but you know that might be something where if we get if we we get feedback we could definitely refer to this as like more the explore phase and then like this yeah. is maybe the adventure phase or something like that yeah cell phase i don't know and i know it seems at first glance <laughs> the game seems complicated because the rule book may be a little bit like overwhelming at first but it's really when when you like break it down like this i hope you you all see it's really simple the game is very simple there's just there's a lot to do in the game and that's i i think that's what can somewhat be overwhelming but after you play it like a couple of times you're really going to get the hang of it and be like oh okay i'm going to try this strategy and uh, or, or try that, whatever it may be, and yeah, I think everyone will have a have a lot of fun with it. We haven't even gotten into the fighting each other yet with the vendors, like that's yeah, we haven't gotten into the vendor duels or even like um, looting where we can kind of counter each other with vendors and things like that. Yeah, so there's like a, a whole fighting mechanism. I, I guess we should probably just wind up doing that at some point, but I don't want to waste my money with it. <laughs> I got some. Oh, actually, never mind. I put two piles of money. I didn't realize how much money I had. Uh, did you get your two? No, no, no. At the no, end? Okay. Yeah. Okay. You gotta make something. All right. So let's move this around. I already know what I'm doing. I'm getting my uh, two employees for this round. Normally it would just be one, but again, because we have this card. This drum. Okay. All right. It's your go. Oh, nice. Okay. So you did that. Um, yeah. He's... Let me just pause the video again and restart it. And we're back. I remember that movie. We're back, the dinosaur movie. I don't think I've seen that. You haven't seen We're Back? Mm -hmm. What? No. No, what, like actually? What year is that? Had to be, I think, mid 90s, 96 maybe. With oh, the dinosaurs, back. where they came to New York. Mm -mm. Is that Don Bluth? I, think I don't think it was. This. No, I think it was Spielberg. Is that Spielberg? Is that, I think it um, was. I think it was from that Amblin. Uh, the Amblin. Amblin. Yeah. Like I uh, think so. Five will goes west. American I think Tale. it was, but I'm not 100 percent sure, and I can't mm. check on my phone. Yeah, because we can't check our phones. We're recording. On Whoa, our phones. <laughs> playing uh, a board game with, now without our phones. Um, it's the way really to do funny. it. It's the way to do it. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, like like Mark is saying, there's a lot more to do. Um, I guess I'll 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 like kind of take his advice. I'm gonna hire a vendor, um, even if we want to play to win, which we still are doing. But I do want to make sure that you guys kind of see how a vendor will work too. So again, vendor cards. I'll take one. So I'll get to see what they do. Now, one cool thing too about vendors is that they'll have an ability that you can use once per game per player. So if I use this card and um, I discard it, Mark ends up getting it later in the game. He can still use that ability. But like, for example, this card will have an effect that I'll be able to use. So um, it's pretty cool. And then I'll get my other action. Hmm. How about I roll the dice again or draw the card and take control of one stand from the player with the most stands. So this one doesn't end up working. I'll have to discard this. I'll just put this under the constant effect. But again, with more players, that would have helped me, but I just kind of wasted a turn there by doing that. And this is where we can always get, get feedback from everyone. <laughs> One thing we had talked about when we were early playtesting is whether these cards would be instant cards or if they, if whoever draws it would wind up keeping it and can use it at another time. We wound up making it instant actions. Uh, if you want to give us feedback, if you would like to have like kind of essentially like some hand management component to this where it's not an instant where Rob could literally hold save this it. card, save it and play it later. Uh, we wound up doing it because we, we, we made it instant because then we felt that it was unbalanced and unfair if somebody was just uh, pretty much getting a stacked hand uh, and could just destroy everyone at the end of the game. Keep in mind too, though, that like they're in the variants. Um, and again, that, the variants are not meant to be just read all at once, but like look at the variants after you guys have played the game or watched the videos. But the variants will allow you to do exactly, exactly. what Mark is saying. So. Yeah, but just not in the main game. 
Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of cool different things that you can do once you've played the game once or twice and you go back to it. It's all about strategy. Mm -hmm. Strat. All right. You went. So strat. finally, the strats. Um, I'm going to go to the Northern Water Tribe. This is the one you should have gotten because this was only four employees and look how much cash money. Oh, it wasn't revealed yet. Yes, it was. Was it? You weren't paying attention. I wasn't. You weren't paying attention. And I'm thinking of the rules, you know, no, I'm trying to help people. He wasn't paying attention. That was careless. That was a careless error. It's like the Godfather. This has turned into like... Yes. The Don advising everyone. Okay, so now this is pretty cool. We still have all of our cabbage stands, so I'm going to be taking two, two, and two, and then Mark will actually end up getting seven because he has a starter stand and he has that new stand that he just acquired. So that's your lucky day. Two coins. Okay. You still like it that I'm going first? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if I mind it. You don't know. I don't know. Yeah. He's talking a little smack, but I don't, I don't actually think it's Schmackin. that bad. Schmackin. Schmackin. Um, um, yeah. So, I'm thinking... So, we're... That was round eight, right? Yeah. Round seven. So, you want to... Uh, you want to talk about like what you can use a bender for because we didn't really go into that in detail. I just realized, and I was about to do it. So, about offense versus defense with like all the, these cards. Right. Um, benders aren't typically used for too much offense. Uh, they but they can be used for offense if somebody else has a bender. So I could go at his starter stand and kind of like almost like a kung fu movie. I can walk into his like town and say I challenge him. Um, Again, like lightly thematic uh, with Avatar because of the bending fights. So we have that a little bit threaded in here. And um, in that way, we're both gonna roll a, roll the die and we'll put these cards face down and we're just gonna see how it shakes out. We'll reveal our cards and then I'll be able to, if I win, if I beat him in the challenge, I'll actually be able to take money directly from him. So I'll take money, not just from a stand, but that he has in his pocket, that's not in his bank already. Oh, I'm hiring a bender. So he gets a bender card. Okay. And do we need to put the bender anywhere, or do we not? The bender? Yeah. Uh, your we bender. We can use it anywhere, right? Yeah, your bender just stays with you. Again, um, it has like that ability that I mentioned before, where you use it, uh, they don't all... Um, require you to discard them but they have an ability you can use once once per game if you hold on to them they're worth points at the end uh, we can talk more about that but benders are worth the second amount of points compared to um the stands the themselves. stands themselves so holding on to a bender is important most of the time if you do use a bender you're gonna lose it especially if you're defending but if you're on the brink of losing it a lot if you rolled like let's say a four or five you'll be able to pay three coins and keep it just depending on the situation which we can get into when we're like looting. So yeah, uh, we didn't talk about that, but how to win, you're getting the most points. So it's not just like the most coins that you're getting, but you're also getting points from having employees, you're from stands, uh, from vendor, from uh, vendor cards. So that's just uh, stuff to keep in mind of as you're kind of strategizing. It's not just about collecting the most coins, although that sometimes does work. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean like getting the most stands, for example, if each stand is worth 10, so um, there's no dis there's no disparaging here. There's no like kind of crazy just because that stands better than mine doesn't mean anything. Like at the end of the game, it's still worth ten. So if he manages his money poorly or like loses some or somebody steals the money from him, you know maybe if I like have more money than him at the end, it can be worth more. So just depends on how you play the game. You want to delineate the difference between our three uh, starter uh, cards here and the vendor cards just so there's clarity there. Which, uh, the difference between yep. these? Mm -hmm. um, then the bender cards, Yeah, right? yeah, just so everyone knows. Well, um, what we can do is I can, we can just do a loot. So I'll show them how looting works. So I can go to your city right here. He was planning on doing it anyway, I knew it. Well, I, I was it. actually, I was gonna go to uh, your starter stand, but since you said we can use the cards, let's, let's give that a shot. So same thing for looting. 
It's a little bit different than the bear. You're still gonna be rolling the die, but I think you have a, you have, um, a bender. So mark now, um, for people when they're first playing, it might be, you might wanna consult the rule book on but this. But I don't have to use my bender. So you don't have to use You don't to have to, it. no. And I'm not going to. So it would be your choice if you wanted to roll the die and then that die roll would be added to your strength total. If not, then that's fine. Um, him and I will both pick a card. We'll put it face down against each other from your cabbage stand defense cards. And again, if you guys want to see- Should I use it? Should I use it? What they no. are. I am the avatar. <laughs> Wait, you're not gonna use? I don't want to use this one. You're not gonna defend at all? I, I want to, but I don't. Just put a card down. I have to think about it. You're gonna think Th about this it? This is a very difficult decision. So because you're, you're you could strategically be just thinking yeah. of losing? There's no bait. I'm strategically thinking of how to lose gracefully on camera. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't want to use, like, like, look at this. Do you think I have a better card than this? I could have three threes. You could. You could have You could have a lot better. And what do you think? Well, I could have a ten. Oh, man. I could. I could. I could. I could. I could. I could. That's not a big deal. I could. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> All right. So he puts that. Um, the ten. Well, actually, I'm the avatar. You, you can't do that. Um, but I want to. So that's... tell me why I can't. Because, <laughs> because you explain have to... to the viewers why we can't do that. You can't do that because you're just defending with a looter. So this isn't a bender duel. This is, <laughs> this is a when you have to roll. You're gonna have to combine I know, I know. your thing. So. But see, there you go. Now another question has been cleared up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um. Oh wait, no. I think I think you do use a card. With the ten, yeah, yeah. No, I know, I know. I just don't want to use it. <laughs> I'm joking. I am using. It. I think I, think I you know. Do. I'm, jo I'm joking. I'm messing I with think, you. I think I think you do. Hold on. Yeah, you you're going to lose right now. It's okay. All right, and then you have to make you have, <laughs> you have to also decide if you're going to use your My bender. employee cubes. Yeah. Uh, no, you oh, already, with the employee you already Yeah, not, not using, using the, bender. the bender. Um I'm not using the employee cubes. Okay, so you won't use those for now. What is it? Yolo? Right? Yeah. No. So it's, it's the it's your defense plus this. That's right. So then I'll roll this. Oh man. Here we'll do that. Okay. okay. 3 Plus six, so that's nine. Wow, wow, wow! Get out of here. So he has fourteen. So I'm not able to actually not even a damage loot that. Not even one damage. So these cards get instantly discarded, yep. and then for him successfully looting or successfully defending from a looter, he gets a free cabbage stand defense card. And sometimes well. what can happen is if it's like Ty, we've talked about like having like duels back and forth of like doing second cards, which is in the, uh, I think the variants. Um, yes. In the variant play. That is something that I, it's not even just a variant. That is something that if I wanted to continue to press the attack, that is something that you can do. Or like, a, like he's saying, if it's tied, if it's normally tied. defender mm -hmm. wins Sorry. if it's tied, but if I don't want to play further than that, then yeah, I won't do that. Okay, so I'm keeping my cash, my cash money, and now it's uh, it's your turn again. Okay, so it's my turn again. My go. What else haven't we really done too much of? We did the security bear. We did the bender. We hired employees. Uh, have we been to the tea shop? Yeah. So here's where I wanted to show um, when he was kind of talking about like the um, using the cards and stuff. If I go to his um, starter stand. That's what I was trying to show about like the combat here. Yes, sir. So that's the same thing. We can basically, we will roll, we will both roll the die now. So I'll put a card face down, then I'll roll the die. I'll remember my roll. So I rolled the three. And then if you guys have another die, you can do that. You can do it at the same time. I got a four. So he's got a four, so mine is three. So mine's nine. seven. So I got a nine. He's got a nine, so he beats me. And now I lose my bender, and he gets to keep his bender for no cost because he successfully defended. Now, if I would have won, I would have rolled the die, and I would have been able to take money directly from his pockets. 
but I've lost both. And I would have yelled, oh my cabbages! Oh no! <laughs> yeah. um, so Man, I've lost twice in a row. Jeez. So, uh, I'm gonna go just uh, for to the uh, uh, the Jasmine uh, Dragon Tea Shop just to show everyone so I get one round of uh, protection for free. So, explain what that is, and I, I did it for a reason, so just, uh, just explain that. Okay. So the Jasmine Dragon Tea Shop, so basically going to Uncle Iroh's Tea Shop, that gives him a whole round of protection, protection for free. Um, what's really cool about that is that he essentially is going to be protected from any looting or from, from me going after him with a security bear. So, and that goes for all the other players. So nobody, this is if you're getting ganged up on and nobody has been selecting this, that's the space we have in there for you. And the reason I did that is because we also have another avatar game called Uncle Iroh's Dream, which we will also be doing a playthrough later, but just so you know, it does exist. Let's see. Sorry, Alpha. You can hang out here. There you go. Um, yeah, so I want to just recap really quickly again. Um, so when you are, we did the bear, when you're doing the bear, you basically roll the die and then you're going after someone's armor directly. Um, with the looting, he's putting a card down and I'm rolling the die, but he's adding his card value to his armor. And that one was really good too, because if he wanted to, he could have stacked it up even higher with um, with his like employees there on the stand. And then finally, the bender, um, like Mark is saying, is it's the cards plus the die roll. So him and I are both rolling the cabbage die and we're playing cards. So again, I know the combat there's a lot of different options for combat, but each one is for different reasons. Security bear will wipe out his cabbage stand immediately. Loot goes right after the money. And then if you do a bender duel, it goes after the other player's bender and also goes after their pockets, the money directly in their pockets. And speaking of pockets, I'll fill mine up. I already gave you, I gave you two. Oh, nice. I did, yeah. Oh, I got um, four though, here. Oh, my bad. No, you're my good. Bad. And I need my five, right? So we're at nine? Yeah, you get your five and, and my you get five. two. Yeah, sorry. Um, okay, so just remember, I have this round, I have protection. Yes, you do. Yes. Um, okay, so what am I going to do now? I'm going to go back to getting uh, employees. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend three to get two employees here. Um, And then for me, I'm going to explore a little bit. There we go. Oh. Now. Ah. So there you go. There's the example. Hire, hire one employee. You get uh, just for one. Yep. So now he's Minus one get coin. Two. And I'm going to yep. get my two employees. Yeah. Wow. So there you go. Perfect. And this one is still active. And then I'll get to go again immediately. Yeah, you still have that. And then... I could go to the tea shop. And you'll see all the messenger uh, hawk decks. There's literally so many different things that happen. So this is why we were saying there's the game. And we've only used a couple of the cards. So you'll see like this game is very replayable. You'll always like have a different game and a different experience because they're all essentially like unique, different events that happen. Yeah. Um, so that's really cool. Okay, so. Don't let people play tens on you. Get more of those cards. <laughs> All right, what am I doing here? Um, I'm gonna explore too, I think. Um, also, yeah. that wasn't even playing too, that was just random, which is really funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, ha ha, ha ha. All right, this one is the Misty Palms Oasis. Okay. And you are able, if you have three em employees, if I had three employees, I could build now. Yep. But I don't. You so like you don't have to do it next round. You could do it like right when you you find it. Okay. Yeah, and he also could have used that uh, avatar defense cube again in that instance, but he had that magical ten card. Yeah, when yeah when uh, I was being attacked, but mm -hmm. there's no need to do it now. Okay. I knew you were gonna lose. I know. Terrible. <laughs> That's such a shame. Okay, so I built my stand, and now we all collect. So I'm gonna get six at the end here. Okay, and then I think you still get your seven. Yeah. 
Oh, and let me uh, pause now and go back this place. Um, Alright, so I gotta go back. It's my turn. I'm going to hire the employees, spend the coin, get two, and it's your turn. Um, so as you see, I'm almost out of uh, in employee cubes. So right now, the way the game is structured is it is a maximum of 10. So you, that's why you have to like really strategically think what you're gonna do. If we're curious for feedback, if people would like to have more cubes um, and like increase that maximum where like it's 15 or, or 20, let us know. Uh, we felt that 10 was like the right number, especially um, as you see, we're already on, on round 10 and we still, we only have two left, but it also depends. Everyone's gonna play a little bit differently. And also when you have uh, more players, uh, you'll see that a lot is happening besides just like building and employees. Yeah, and I'll, I'll show another thing too, because it's, it's good that you brought the employee thing up is that if I go here, and again, like a lot of the rules are gonna be kind of rapid fire in the, the other videos, but I'm gonna hire one employee and again, I'll get two because of that bonus. And that doesn't and always happen. So we would have half the number of employees right now. Yeah, exactly. So we're gonna minus the three. And one thing that I can do with those two employees now is I can go back to my stand and I can actually repair. Perfect. So I can like repair these. Now I can't restock them. I just use these employees. They're kind of like just essentially contractors. I've just contracted them to repair my stand. So these damage tokens now go away. But as Mark is saying, like, um, you're gonna be cycling through the employees, but if you do feel you need more, that's something where, you know, we'll take that feedback. And another thing too, that doesn't really quite say in the rule book is the, the movement. Like I, we haven't really wrote, like if you can take employees off and then move them to another stand or do things like that. So right now we've just been, if you go some, somewhere with the merchant, then you can like interact and like heal up or um, restock. So we've kind of taken it that way, maybe, you know, you can go to this stand, for example, and take employees away and maybe build another stand. Yeah, so we, we'd love feedback, know, we'd feedback love there. The, the, the rationale of why we kept it there was we're saying, well, if someone's in the Western Air Temple, they're not gonna be flying on APA to go to Ba Sing Se, and then like, who's gonna be running that stand and then there's no one there. So, but the alternative that we had spoken about is like, as long as you have one stand there, you need three to start like the business, but then once it's like kind of started, built, and everything is like sourced, then you can just have one uh, employee there and then the other two can be moved elsewhere and that one one turn would be taking two of those. So yeah, we, we love feedback because we, we spoke about it, but this is kind of where, where we landed. Uh, but that is an alternative play option. If you do want for your turn, you can take those two and then on a the next turn, you can reuse them as long as there's one there, but it could be risky because you could get attacked. So Yeah, and you wouldn't have that extra boost to defense. Exactly. So I'm going to take, we haven't done a lot of uh, Hawk, uh, messenger Hawk cards. Mm -hmm. um, so let's, uh, let's do one of these. Receive three employees from the market. Okay, so I only have uh, two left. So I'm going to take those last two. And that's my turn. And that's it for okay. this round. So you take yours, we'll go to, where are we at, 10, 11? Yeah, we're at 11. All right, and now it's, I'll get my coins as well. So where does my mine go now? Um, so I'm going to, I'll make sure I move these two. I'm gonna go to, you know, I already have the Northern Water uh, Drive Palace, so now I'm just gonna go to the Northern Water Drive. Gonna... Okay. Oh, wow, I'm creating a little mini empire. Yeah, so that's gonna be great. Haha, <laughs> oh man, okay, okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to oh boy. gonna have to press my luck and roll roll a bear. So I'll spend the four coins, and now again we're gonna ask Mark if he wants to you defend the bear? vendor. 
Oh boy. You may have to. This is so tough. But you know what? I feel like I'm in a really good position right now. So I am going to. And the reason I'm doing it is because, funny enough, I have air. Minus one to platypus security bear roll once per game. Oh my god. Alright. So, yes. So you use the bender, and then you'll also roll. You roll the die, I guess, if you want to use that. Three. So I think a three is, that's right in the middle. So with defending in a bender, the bender is unable to stop the bear. I still continue, but I still have a minus one. Now you can either keep your bender or uh, with, by paying three coins, or you can return the bender to the market. Mm -hmm. It's your call. I don't need the bender anymore. Okay. So that's again for people if they want to keep stuff. Now I have a five. So that's going to be a minus one, and that'll be a four. And you can also decide how you want to distribute your armor. That Normally you do that before, but again, just for the purposes yeah. of the demo, you know, we'll, we'll pretend that Mark so, had done that. How many did you say? Each each employee, except for the last one manning the stand, is worth one. So I I rolled a four against okay. you. So that means I have, what, four defense? Yeah, you, you could have a total of seven, but like yeah. let's say maybe you only use two of them yeah. to help defend. Okay, so yeah, so then that would be two damage, right? Um, that would yeah. be four. So you'd have you have six, six defense, and then that would. Oh, get sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, sorry. Okay, no, you're All good. Right. So still have those two that I can get. Okay, and another thing too, I think. Uh, I've mentioned this as well before um, when we were talking about it, is that even though he has four damage and that's as, as much as the armor is... Still collecting. It's, right. yes, it, it's just, it's, a, it's again, it's an aid against another player if they want to attack him. Again, so, yeah. Again, so it, it makes I'm, it so I'm he has exposed. to either heal. Exactly. I'm exposed, but I still am going to collect that cash money. He's still getting the money. It's your turn, though. All right, so then it's back to me. Yeah. This is very stressful. I could theoretically just go after you and just go for another bear. What's your problem? Mm. I don't know. I feel I feel bullied. I feel personally damaged. This is a bully. After that, this is not even cyber bullying. This is real. Bullying. Yeah, this is real life bullying, and I'm doing it on the internet, so it might be a little bit of cyber bullying. All right, so I'm gonna pay seven. We're gonna have Mark say my cabbages. We're gonna have it's gonna happen. So he doesn't have a bender anymore. So there's no so dumb. I sh I, there's oh no walls. My God, I should have. Pay three. And we should have got Rachel to play. Oh <laughs> my god. You would have had a partner in crime. All right. Ha. Oh my god. Wow. Wait, you can show them. Just show them. Wow, that's... Show that's, them what happened. That's embarrassing. Show them. That's... That's what an embarrassment is. Are you kidding me? You're an embarrassment to, to gamers. Why? The world. A one. Why? <laughs> that's... That's ridiculous. That's a loser. That's a loser. Watch out, I'm gonna lose. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you see, like, again, that was not, that was not quite enough. And that, you put, where, where did you go? You used mine. You Stop to trying to use my guy. You, oh, I did, I did. You used <laughs> Shoot the guy. Stop trying to poach. Okay. So what do I want to do now? I want to hire, I'm going to get two of these guys, pay one, and now the round's over, it's the last round, let's collect our cash money, so I got five, and then we get two per round, so that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I'm getting eleven this round, what do you get this round? Um, I'm going to get, I think it's still six yeah it's six still not terrible this is the moment of truth this is the last the round truth. and then we'll go over scoring he's still i should have got i should have got the first player token too ah it's okay because he gets the last turn yeah, this is super tough actually i'm not sure what i want to do This is a tough 
I would have built again, but um, I think what I'm gonna do, it's actually a waste of money because I should have just done it before. I'm gonna hire a vendor. <sighs> yeah, I have Come to do it. Yeah, I have to do it. We're both just spending our money. <laughs> yeah, this is amateur hour right here. I don't know. I mean, I feel like we did. We made some okay choices, but then we we got really. I think got really it's actually, it we got wrapped fun. into uh, trying to kill each other, which I'm still. It's fun. I still got to do it. I've got to do it. All right. I'm orange, orange, everybody. Um, yeah, people are. I can just hear the, the audience, the crowd, just yelling for bear, bear, And we bear, actually bear, didn't set this. So this bear, is completely bear, random. Bear, bear. We didn't bear, set these cards up at bear, all. Bear. <laughs> No bear. 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 Alright, so I'm using my bender. You're gonna use it? Alright, you're gonna roll. He's defending with a bender. This is useless. I was gonna talk about a bender counterattack, but I don't even have another bender. That's only if he rolls a, a perfect six, he could steal my coins from me. Yeah. So if he rolls a six, he can actually steal coins from me. Okay. Yeah, roll it. I don't wanna roll it. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Alright, you should be. One more attack. A one! Well, okay, in the rulebook too, uh, one is essentially, you guys can see that again. Look, look, this is karmic retribution, karma. So ah! uh, <laughs> the bender is scared off by the ferocity of the bear. Immediately return the bender to the market. You may not pay a fee to keep the bender. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. All right. No, man, just, it makes me, it makes me very happy that that happened. Now, one more attack because he's essentially on his last leg. That employee can't help him now. A four, easy, easy, easy money. He goes away. This That's employee, so bad. he's gonna have to be um, sending his resume somewhere else. You know, <laughs> <it's a letter. laughs> he's not getting a recommendation. He's getting no a referral. <laughs> he was a garbage employee. <laughs> he just left. He left when times got tough. I mean, like, actually, it makes sense. The Northern Water Tribe Palace did get attacked at the end of season one, so. Whatever. That did happen. Whatever. So I'm essentially playing Zuko, even okay. though I'm the cabbage merchant. Mm -hmm. And wow, what should I do? There's so many cool things. There's so many cool things. Oh my god, I'm gonna win the game. <laughs> Crap, you're at you're the bender space. Uh, hmm. Actually, I gotta even the odds a little bit. So I'm gonna go here and I'm going to Smart. spend a coin. I'm gonna get some employees. That was a smart, smart move. Some employees are worth two each. Two coins each at the end. Two points. <sighs> How do you like me now? Does he spend the seven to get a bear, everyone? So, this is like the last. So this is the last round. I'll tell everyone what I'm thinking about because this is. This is the point where like it's like, do I want to just destroy Rob and take? A gamble, or do I want to just go with the safe option and just go for points? So, like right now, if I were to spend uh, uh, Honestly, three, if you went for the safe option, you'd be fine. I, I could get right now two employees for mm -hmm. three, and I would wind up getting more points. Or I could try to hire a bear, but it would be seven to try to destroy one of Rob's. Uh, Which you uh, could. Whale Tail Island would be only three defense, so you only need to roll. Yeah, you only really roll like it's it's a fifty percent chance for him to destroy wheel. But tail. see, like what I'm thinking about is you get four versus me getting uh, how many is each uh, employee again? How many They're worth two, so, so you two. get one more coin. So I you get, spend the three for four so points. I essentially. Uh, you probably know it's not that good for a team, but I mean it's better. It's one. It's one more point. You're making money. Such a tough situation. I think I think I might just leave the safe bet. Or you could even gamble. You could even just draw messenger hop. I was thinking about that too. Yeah, what if you just got like four three or four employees or something crazy? I will look. Just for the just for everybody watching, I'm gonna look to see what the card would have been. Wow. You know, I, I usually make my decisions like well in advance, but I know like this this move actually probably will determine because I think it's super close. 
I think it's a super close game. Uh, I don't know, guys. It's not looking good for me. Stop. Stop. I just wanted... I wish I would have kept my mouth shut because he might have gone for the bear. I should have chose a You're different strategy. Me. I should have just made him angry. You're not manipulating me. It should have been like, together. bear! No. That's a that's an absolutely not. Why didn't I just go to the tea shop that right? See, that's where I, I messed up. You did. When I hired a bender, I made a mistake. I just realized. You went for the tea shop what in round seven? Oh or my eight? god, yeah, I went for the tea <laughs> shop before. I should have gotten the tea shop. Oh my I cannot believe I made that mistake because you didn't have the first I should have won. That was I'm an amateur. You may still. You may I'm an amateur. Still. If I lost, I lost on my own stupidity. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I did that. Welcome to our games division where we're harder on ourselves than anyone else is. I just want to, how can I, I just want to destroy, I want to take these people from you. I know. I know, I even healed myself those damage counters. I hate you. Mm-hmm. Even these employees uh, are also worth points. So the ones that we have, although he has six here, so that's, I don't know. I think he. I think he oh, just to, just explain this part of the rule. So I could, in theory, put these two employees in here to have extra. Uh, um, not the extra, no. So I, I um, couldn't again. Okay. That, that was I, I think that was another variant this, we were considering. Yeah, I thought yeah. that was one of the the variants. It's not. Um, oh, we just spoke. Not, about it? we spoke oh, about okay. it. I think we were. Yeah. Long story short, time crunch. Um, with uh, with certain variants because we were really we were playtesting on this a lot and a lot of people were excited for yeah for for more uh, again like we we were speaking about this the other day right like uh, just if there were interest in it just doing that like Cora the Cabbage Corp thing so we were we were really excited to take this further this idea oh yeah we have like the expansions planned for uh, Cabbage Corp with Cora and we have other like expansions of other locations and other things that are going to be happening. Um, so let me let me pause the video and then we'll finish the last move and then we'll okay. score it up. Uh, Alrighty. Okay. All right. So, well. All right. Yeah, what am I gonna do? Have you decided? Not really. Have you decided? There. You know, it's like you were saying before, like hire the security bear, and I think like you're trying to incept me to either do it or you're trying to make me not, you, you're making me think that I shouldn't do it and that I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna listen to you because you know I never listen. <laughs> and then this you're is like, like a, a you, flashback. You, bear. You, think, <laughs> you think that if you say hire the bear, I'm not gonna do the bear, no. but I realized I don't believe you, so I am gonna hire the bear. No. I'm gonna hire the bear. I want my three back. And I'm going to attack this because you have three employees there. So okay. So Again, so for everybody's like turn sequence order, I have to decide if I'm going this is why this is why I'm really mad because I was trying to goat him into doing this one, but I'm I'm dumb. Because if I looted I'm, I would have gotten zero here. Alright. But one here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna press my luck a bit. I could do these two cubes before he rolls and be like, this has a defense of four. And I have no vendors to help me. But I'm gonna, I don't think, I don't, I think Mark's gonna roll a one or a two. <laughs> so I'm gonna just use one cube and we're gonna see. Otherwise I might lose them all, but. All right. We're gonna Here see. We go. He's gotta roll Moment of truth. a three or above. Oh man, you probably have whatever. Just That's roll. it. It's Just a fifty-fifty. It's not even fifty because if you tie, I, I lose. So it's like, I guess I have a lower chance. <laughs> whatever. One of my my stats. I have a, I have a forty percent chance. One of my stats professors, you'd be so proud. I'm like thinking about the odds right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Running a simulation. All right, here we go. Probability. Okay. Here we go. We're not at the casino. We're at the indoor outdoor kitchen table. Show me the money. Ah. Well, if I even, that's if I would have used this, it wouldn't have mattered. All right. Well, that's my that's my stand. That's my stand. All right. Let's tally it up. Let's collect our our cash money. Here we are, Jerry. Yeah. You, know, you gotta be you gotta be cutthroat. So I get four. 
unfortunately. I don't get that much. This is exactly like what happened to the uh, the Air Nomads, actually. So don't don't do what I did. Don't j diversify. <laughs> don't go to one kingdom. You see this Western Air Temple, Welltail Island? This was not a good idea. This was a bad idea. And as we can see, ironically, my cabbages! <laughs> Oh, okay. And just for those that want to know, the next card, the Messenger Hawk, was take oh, the first yeah, turn marker. That. Well, that would have been useless. Would have been useless. If you would have, oh, if you would have done that, that would have been great. Yeah, the Cabbage Stand deck. That was a nice, cute little op card. You didn't get to play that one. Oh, mm. man. Yeah, that op card would have helped me, too. What was that like? That's an eight, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that would have been solid. God. Okay. Yeah, here was my card, too. I had just a three. All right. So I didn't let's, have anything left. Let's add everything up. So... Right. Okay, I got five here, so five, no, ten, it's got so much money. twenty, and then each employee. You count the employees that you do not have dispersed. Yeah, exactly. Right. So, so all that's... hired ones, even if they weren't used, yep. and then you have a lot. That's so that's 12. two, four, the okay, twelve, mm -hmm. fourteen, sixteen, uh, sixteen. Do you get points for the stands? Yeah, you get ten. Okay. Ten for your stands. Okay. So not for the starters, though. So we have, so that means I only have 10, and you have 10, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So I've got 10, 16, which is 26, 36, 41, 46. I got 46. What do you got? I, I don't even want, like, I, I, I almost want to tell Rachel to edit this and, like, make it super funny, but <laughs> we would torture her. <laughs> we would be tortured. Well, how would you edit it? I don't know. Just, like, it would just, like, be a quack, like a duck sound and it just goes to 29 <laughs> i have 29 you have 29 yeah just 29 say it 29 no it's say when you... my cabbages <laughs> i only have 29 all right and I, that's that's all folks i flew too close to the sun i tried to play with fire and i got burned I never win. I always lose these games. It's so funny. I got burned. You didn't just you didn't just win. You I told you you I, got you went to the Godfather. You massacred my family. I creamed you. You did. You 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 cremated my Had family. Had to rig the deck. Had to rig it. <laughs> Had to rig the dice. I stacked, I stacked the dice. It was weighted. Let's see where there was there there's probably another ten in here too. Here's let's see the infamous Oh wait, here's there's... Avatar Roku. Yeah, but there's a lot of really cool cards here, like Azula. steal a player's cabbage uh, and receive their income from one stand. Like, there's a lot of really cool stuff. Every player discards their cabbage stand. Uh, defense cards are is the same. Uh, gets the same effects every space. Draw two messenger hawk cards instead of one. There's a lot of really cool, cooler playable things. So, I hope everyone enjoyed the playthrough. Cleared up any questions, or you just enjoyed watching us play and me actually winning, which was. I'm feeling good about this, not gonna lie. I'm happy. This is like, yeah, this is even public. It's like, first game that we have public playthrough and like... I know. Game? Actually, that's even the most embarrassing thing. It's gonna... It's okay. Rachel, put on the ticker, own one. Okay. I want, I want yeah, to one it. I can't. Yeah. I'm 0-1 one now. On the official ticker. And, yeah, when, when we have more people around, we'll try to like do a, a playthrough of Iroh's Dream and you'll see that because that's like a really fun, like comedic storytelling game that will be less yeah. less chaos uh, less chaos less cutthroat less yeah. chaos but this is this was really fun um i really hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed some of the trolls or some anyone has any uh comments or edits or changes that they'd like us to implement into the the rule book or the quick start or any other things like some like couple extra cubes uh like we talked about let us know in the comments and we have like a month to to make any any like minute changes Again, this is Avatar The Last Airbender, Oh My Cabbages, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. Ciao!